guys, welcome to my channel, welcome back. I've not done a video like this for a long time, but basically today's video we're gonna be having Christmas food for 24 hours. I say I've not done it for a long time, obviously I've not done it for a long time because Christmas is only once a year. When I say I've not done it for a long time, I've not done this kind of video for a long time. I've been away from YouTube for a while, so today we're gonna try and make it work. I don't know how that's gonna go. There's no rules to today's video other than it's kind of gotta be a little bit Christmas themed. Another thing, actually. Actually, I have a lot less of a distortion of taste now than I used to. It's still a challenge with a lot of things. There's a lot more things that I can eat now. There's still things that taste funny, but I can eat, even though they don't taste how I know they should taste. I'm no longer kind of feeling sick off it. But then if something's got garlic in, I'm sorry, but that is a no-go. And you'd be surprised how many things have garlic in. So I am struggling like with savoury stuff. I try and go as plain as possible. So there is going to be things today that I probably won't try. Ideally, I wanted to do the fast food Christmas menu challenge but there's no point because I know for a fact like it'd be burgers with sauces and meat and ugh. and especially KFC they like herbs or whatever no chance I have actually just got back from Scotland had a really great time I didn't vlog Scotland because I just wanted to switch off have a good time I don't do that a lot I tend to every opportunity that I go somewhere I tend to try and create content and I get a bit wrapped up in it and I think it was nice for me to be able to just go away post a few Instagram pictures obviously you know your girl's not gonna stop that and just have a good time no camera no pressure to make a good YouTube video and I think doing things like that and not filming makes me realize why I like to film and share my experiences with you guys and anyway so let's get on with the video we're gonna have christmas food today no rules like i say just like as long as it states christmas or it has something christmasy on even if it's just christmas packaging let us get on with the video and i'll catch you guys in a bit of a hot second bye Pause. Guys, so breakfast is done. That was delicious. So that was breakfast. I'm gonna go to the gym and I will see you guys whenever I next film. Bye. Oh my god, it's actually so weird filming in this car. Hey guys, if this car looks different, it's because it is different, obviously. So Wow, this is weird to film. Like, that looks so weird. The angle just looks dead. Oh, that's a bit better. So, just been to Costa Coffee, got myself a purple one latte. The purple one latte. The first time ever actually got the chocolate. Oh, it's actually so nice. There's people coming in. This is where it gets so awkward. <clears throat> also, quickly show you my new car. This is my brand new car. It's a Citroen C1. It's just a 18 plate of a Citroen C1. Um, it has all like the steering wheel controls. It has more controls for the phone, which will come on the screen. In fact, I'll turn the engine on. I've lost my keys. They're up here. So yeah, it's not a car tour at all. How many miles has it done? Oh, I've just missed it. 13,300 and keep going past it. 13,342 miles. I mean, obviously I've done a couple since I got it. I've not had it that long. That's not cruise control, it's a speed limiter. It has the mirror controls so I can sort of, hang on, what am I doing here? Oh, I've not actually pressed it, that's why. I can move the mirrors up and down um it's quite clever like that it's got my screen which will connect to my phone there we go sometimes it takes a minute to connect to the phone got a nice little controls here it's got a usb port which my old car didn't have demisters all that sort of jazz you know you can control everything here 
It's got a little, whatever you call them. What are they called again? With a bottle holder. That's a little bit of a car tour for you guys, just as a bit of a bonus to the video. So we're gonna head to McDonald's now. I'm gonna quickly get one of my favorite things, which is on the Christmas menu. And that's gonna be my dinner. And then later on, I've just got loads of sweet stuff to try. So that's gonna probably be my tea, which isn't ideal, but yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next clip. Bye. Hey guys, so I don't know if you can see me properly on this kind of level. I look like a hot mess because I went to the gym. Yes, so I've been to the gym. I am currently about to have my McDonald's. The only things that I can pretty much eat from McDonald's right now. We've got some ketchup. We've also got some tangy tomato dip, but I cannot for the life of me, even when I have a normal taste palette, I can't like it. And this has actually got garlic in, so there's no chance I'm gonna be able to have that. These are the McDonald's, what do you call them? Cheese melt dippers. Mmm, look at them. Look at that. I mean, if that's not heavenly, I don't know what is. If I couldn't eat cheese, it'd be a sad, sad time. I did actually go to Morrison's to try and find some savoury Christmas food, but there was just nothing. Well, there was a few things, but because of my issue right now, like there was turkey stuff and sandwiches that I would have tried, but half of them had sage and onion, or they had onion powder or garlic powder, and I just cannot have it. On second thoughts, I should have got 12, but that's just being greedy. I haven't actually ate since breakfast, and it's now 20 to 3. Like, oh... I've got something in my hair. I think it's a crumb. These are just the greatest thing. Yeah, I've got a wrap present. I'm gonna take the dog out. I'm actually probably not gonna have like a proper tea today. I've got so many Christmas snacks to try. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna quickly try for you guys. I'm actually so excited about it. It's Christmas cream Santa's belly. Oh my goodness me. It does look nice. It's got like a cream filling. Let's try it. Mmm. It's actually quite nice. I was gonna try them all, but one of them is the one that came out yes yesterday. The one that came out last year, the reindeer one, and then the other one was out of stock, which was the Christmas jumper one, but that to me looked a bit sickly and it had chocolate in the middle. Mmm, so good. Do you know what? What? Okay, so that was absolutely beautiful. I'm actually gonna give that a nine out of 10 because the cream in the middle was like buttercream. It was really nice. Normally Krispy Kreme donuts when they're a bit crazy with the ice and they're normally a bit sickly, but that was really nice. I didn't think that would fill me up as much as it did, but that means that I am gonna not eat now and I'm gonna save my appetite for hella snacks later. Yeah, that's it. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Also, I'm just gonna say that because I'm not eating quite as well as I would normally be in. Okay, so here we go. Like this is stomach right now because I'm a little bit bloated. Basically my food baby. I can get rid of it. But if I relax, it's literally all sitting here because it's just food and I can't stress enough that if you do eat like different food than what you're used to you are going to hold a bit of bloat it's not permanent it doesn't stay it disappears sometimes I can have the worst bloat during a day of eating like crazy foods and then the next day I can feel leaner than ever it just it's so weird but it's wonderful the body is a crazy thing let's go and have a rest because I don't know why but that's really sort of made me feel a bit dodgy you know when you just feel a bit full like you feel like you've had a massive meal when you've not it's kind of what I feel right now I think it's because I trained and all so I trained and then I had the coffee anyway catch you guys in the next clip bye hey guys so the next thing that I'm gonna try well that's better <laughs> Whee! I bought this from Lidl it is the coca-cola cinnamon zero sugar drink this is kind of Christmassy to me I know it doesn't physically say like Christmas drink but it's kind of in the festive area and it seems to only come out at like Christmas week. I did take it to Scotland, but I never actually tried it in the end. I can't remember if I tried this last year or not. I don't know, I think it does taste kind of, I don't know, it just tastes like normal Coke, I'm not gonna lie. There's a hint of cinnamon. It's nice because it just tastes like Coke, but does it taste majorly like cinnamon? Not really. It has got a hint though, I guess, I could say. I don't know if that's just psychological because I'm trying to think of cinnamon. Do you know when like, you're trying to make a flavor up in your head? Like if someone said this Coke is cherry Coke, I'd be like, yeah, there's a hint of cherry, even though there's blatantly not. Whatever flavor comes into my head, I kind of think of. It's so subtle that I can't tell if it's psychological or real. Do you know what I mean? That's the kind of subtleness 
of it, which is probably nice because obviously if it was overwhelming cinnamon, it'd be probably a bit minging. I'm gonna go and take the dog for a walk. Um, who, what is that red? Oh, it's the straw. I thought it was a roll of wrapping paper. That's why I looked around. That's really blew my mind that I did. I'll catch you guys after when I try some Christmas snacks. See you guys in a bit, bye. Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Christmas snack taste. The first ones that I'm gonna actually start with because I'm really intrigued is these from Lidl. Ritter Sport chocolate bar. I've got a spice biscuit, caramelized almond and coconut macaroon. I think I'm gonna try coconut macaroon. Apparently that is the new one. I think Ritter Sport is really nice. Mmm, that is actually so much nicer than I anticipated. Oh, that's really nice. It's got like creamy coconut macaroon in the middle and I could eat the whole bar of that. I didn't expect that one to be actually nice because I'm not the biggest fan of coconut. We've got spice biscuit. I feel like they're all gonna be really nice now. Well, that is actually so good and all. Mmm, it's crunchy. Oh, I can't decide which one I like best, you know. It's a close call. It's got a little hint of spiciness to it as well. Now, this one's a little bit different in terms of what it's like on the inside. It's a bit plainer. It's almost like popping candy, but it doesn't pop. The texture of the almonds. I actually think the one that I didn't think I'd like, I actually prefer this one best. And then the biscuit and then the caramelised almonds. That's actually backwards. I thought it'd be the complete opposite way. They are so good, guys. Honestly, they're from Lidl, but I mean, I'm assuming they still have them. I got them a couple of weeks ago, actually, now for this video. We're going to try next the Jingle Bell. Oh no, Jingly Bells. Again, these are from Lidl, but I'm pretty sure they're probably everywhere else. Oh, they're actually like little wrappers like that. Kind of remind me of lint balls. What's wrong with these balls? I'm just kind of plain. Mmm. Yeah, I mean, I prefer the lint ones, but I can get behind these ones, definitely. They're so milky and creamy. I don't feel like they taste like dairy milk. I don't know why. They taste a bit more luxury. They don't really taste hazelnutty. I'm going to compare them to these popping puds, which I think are also from Lidl, actually. Did I get these from Lidl? Where the heck did I get these from? They're like all little Christmas puddings. They're so cute. Do you know what? I'll never know where I got them from. But this is what it's like. It's just a ball. It's a lot bigger than the dairy milk ones though actually oh my goodness me white chocolate is a weak point for me listen to that crunch can you hear pop mm, where the hell did i get them from why can't i remember wow it literally doesn't say anywhere there's no brand on them either that is such a satisfying sound Wow, my mouth's popping away. Okay, right, okay. Do I want to say okay any more times? The next thing I'm going to try is these gingerbread digestive biscuits. But what I'm trying to see is if they taste like gingerbread, I guess. Let's try. I'll be honest with you guys. They're nice. They taste like digestive biscuits. But if someone said to me, do you want a biscuit? And didn't tell me they were gingerbread. I wouldn't be like, oh, are they gingerbread flavour? Do you know what I mean? I don't know. I'm doing that thing again that I did with the cinnamon coke where I'm starting to not know if I'm psychologically tasting gingerbread. I mean, there is gingerbread in there. Natural ginger flavouring. I can mm, kind of sort all again. I guess if you didn't know there was gingerbread in there and you just thought you were eating an all biscuit, you probably wouldn't be like, oh, there's ginger in there. Now, these are Christmas pudding flavour. I don't even know what Christmas pudding tastes like, so I don't know how I'm going to judge this one. Have you guys tried these biscuits? To be honest, this smells more like gingerbread than that gingerbread one does. If you notice the concentration on my face, there's definitely something different about them. I think they have more of a distinctive flavour than the gingerbread ones do. I can't really tell you what Christmas pudding tastes like, so I can't say like, oh yeah, they taste like Christmas pudding, because I don't know. But there's something distinctive, subtle but distinctive about them. I can't deal with all this subtlety. It takes a lot of concentration, you know, when you're trying to taste something subtly. The next thing that I've got is this Terry's Chocolate Orange Cranberry Limited Edition bar, which is very, very festive. How tiny. Oh, you can see cranberries in it actually mm. again very subtle but there's something very nice about the texture of those little chibi cranberries in there there's something different about that but we'd give that an 8 out of 10 only because i'm not like a massive fan of terry's chocolate orange anyway like i don't go out my way to buy it the next thing that i have is another winter flavor chocolate bar which is twix winter spice and obviously twixes as we all remember have the little biscuit and caramel in them i'm not a fan of caramel in a chocolate really oh yeah there's a bit of a spice Hmm, that's quite interesting. Yeah, that's done quite well on flavour. It's a lot more obvious than the other subtle hints of flavours in things. I mean, it's not something that I'd have. I wouldn't be like, oh, I fancy one of them Twix winter spices, you know. But as a little festive treat, it's quite nice and it's quite different. The next thing that I've got is this Rhythm 108 
chocolate orange. It's gluten-free, organic, vegan and 43% less sugar and it is limited so it's not always going to be around. Okay now this is probably amazing to a lot of people. You know it looks really delicious. You can definitely tell there's less sugar in there just because it's a little less sweet. I think it very likely, in fact no, it definitely has something called rice malt in it. I think that's what's giving it a bit of a weird taste to me. I, right now, to me, it tastes a bit odd, but I think I can't have rice cakes at the minute because of parosmia. It's just not tasting right, I guess. Although it's nice, it's sweet, so I, it, it is edible to me. There's a little flavour coming through. That does not reflect the bar itself. I think the bar itself is probably... I'm not sure why that's gone off. I'm going to have to just deal with the fact that my ring light has just completely cut out on me. I don't know, I think it's overheated. As you can tell, I'm getting a bit of a sugar coma. The last thing that I want to try is this Battle Bite Winter Wonderland Irish Cream Chop... No. It's a high protein bar, basically. It's a protein bar. <laughs> Jen, absolutely get yourself together and it is from quality save quality save do some really good protein bars for very cheap i cannot tell you guys how much i wish my light was on right now because you would see a bit clearer view of this beauty you know what guys it's my favorite protein bar actually it won't focus mm. again it's the white chocolate it gets me every time i think we're going to call this the end of the video because i am stuffed thank you guys so much for watching the video i hope you guys have the greatest christmas and i will see you guys hopefully maybe before the new year but if not i'll see you guys in 2021 bye for now